everyone. My name is Cheryl Sevigny, and I'm proud to be the principal here at Vimy Ridge Public School. I would like to call on grade seven student, Grace McIntosh, to do our land acknowledgement. This is a special land acknowledgement. It's specific to Vimy Ridge School, and it was written by Grace. Acknowledge that we are gathered here today on the traditional and unceded land of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe people, who have lived and thrived on this ancestral land since the beginning itself. As we gather here to learn, we must recognize and appreciate the teachings of the Algonquin and Anishinaabe people, who taught us to be kind, not only to each other, but to the land itself. Many of our modern ways of life have evolved from the traditional methods of the indigenous peoples. Vimy Creek is situated on the South Nation River watershed. This is an important natural ecosystem that must be protected through ongoing dialogue with indigenous peoples. Another important lesson of Canada's First Peoples is that no matter how different someone is, instead of oppressing said differences, we should celebrate them. Diversity is what makes our country special, and we are extremely fortunate to be part of a school that celebrates so many diverse cultures. Thank you, Grace. I would now like to call on MPP Kamari to come and speak. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Principal Semini, for the introduction. And before I forget, I would first like to, if I can find it, uh, a little birdie told me that Principal Semini is uh, retiring this year. So I just wanted to provide you with a certificate of appreciation for your retirement. And it says, congratulations on the occasion of your retirement. As MPP for Carleton and on behalf of the province of Ontario, I am pleased to extend my congratulations and best wishes to you on your retirement on June 30th, 2022. Your 34 years of dedicated service at the Ottawa Carleton District School Board have earned you the respect and gratitude of your colleagues and extended community. Retirement is a special time and I hope you enjoy the opportunity to adjust your focus and priorities as you move into this newest phase of your life. Aww, thank you so much. That's very, very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'd also like to recognize Vimy Ridge Parent Council co-chairs, Ms. Kavita Ajwani and Mr. Ahmed Fawal, as well as his lovely better half, Dania Rafai, who's standing back there. I don't have any certificates for you two, though, so I apologize. Um, so I'm very excited, very, very thrilled, actually, to be here today to make this announcement. And as you saw it while we did uh, the tour of Vimy Ridge Public Elementary School, this school was built in 2017. And since then, its capacity has pretty much doubled. There are 18 portables outside right now, full of students, with at least five more slated to be brought in by next year. I was first made aware of the issue of overcrowding at Vimy Ridge Public Elementary School back in October of 2021, when Ms. Kavita Ajwani, as well as Principal Sevigny, reached out to me and we had a meeting on Zoom. And it was at that time that I realized something had to be done. And we had to make a difference in this community because every child deserves to learn in a modern, updated, safe classroom indoors inside of a school. Public education has always been a big priority of mine. It's something that I ran on four years ago. And four years ago, before getting elected, I had no idea how to build a school. But that never stopped me. And since getting elected, uh, I've managed to build the following schools in four years. In 2018, we secured funding for Sitzville Public High School, $48 million. In 2020, I secured funding for Fernbank Public Elementary School in Spitzville, $22 million. Again in 2020, I helped secure funding for the first ever public high school in Riverside South. In 2021, I secured funding for Fernbank Catholic Elementary School in Spitzville, Fernbank French Public Elementary School in Spitzville. In 2022, I secured funding to do an expansion at Paul Desmarais French Catholic High School and to build the first ever Catholic elementary school in Finley Creek. The total so far has been seven schools, 5,357 pupil places, 205 licensed childcare spaces, and $164 million in funding. 
in Carlton alone. However, that's not the only announcement that I'm here to make today. In fact, I'm here to announce two brand new schools. The first school is the Riverside South Catholic Elementary School, 507 pupil places, two childcare rooms, 39 childcare spaces, that's licensed childcare spaces for a total of $15 million. And the one that I'm very excited to share with everyone, it's something that we have worked countless and countless of hours on to get it done. We are building a second public elementary school right here in Finley Creek for a total student population size of 674, two licensed childcare rooms, 39 licensed childcare spaces for a total of $19 million in funding. <laughs> Kavita and Ahmed, our hours of hard work have paid off. The meetings, the WhatsApp group chats, the, the, uh, the three hour uh, meeting we had, you know, the, the preparation for the delegations that you made, the petition, the petition that's on my website, which was urging the Carl, Ottawa Carleton District School Board to make Finley Creek a priority, and not just a priority, the top priority, because I promise the people of Finley Creek, and I promise parents like Ahmed and Kavita, that if we can get Finley Creek as a number one priority. I will fight for the people of Finley Creek and I will do everything within my power to get this school built. And I think this is the fastest school <laughs> I've ever worked on to getting built. So I don't think I can ever do it again. But with that, it's my pleasure to introduce two very special people who are fantastic role models, great community members to come up and speak about their involvement in this project. Uh, Kavita Ajwani and Ahmed Fawal. Thank you, uh, MPP Bumari, and welcome to Vinley Ridge Public School. It is an honor to have you here with us to share this exciting news with the Finley Creek community. My name is Kavita Adwani. I have three children, two of whom currently attend Vinley Ridge uh, in grade four and junior kindergarten. I'm co-chair on parent council and have been lead on the safety committee for the last three years. I'm also a community, community member who's been watching a fast growing community with only one school, almost at twice its capacity and bursting at the seams. Over the last few years, uh, I've been working with Principal Sevigny and other officials to address the congestion and traffic issues that are mainly caused by the increasing number of enrollments at our school. In trying to find other solutions, I reached out to uh, MPP Gumari in October of 2021 um, with a simple question of how do we go about getting another school? At that time it was purely out of curiosity and of course it was no secret that the Catholic Board has a site uh, for a future school literally next door to Vinley Ridge which would have brought on a whole new level of congestion. Within a few weeks after that there was media news of our grade 7 and 8 students moving uh, to another school in, a, in the community, excuse me, in the neighboring community of Riverside South. Um, Again, this came as a shock to everyone. Although I was glad that the overcapacity or overcrowding was finally publicly being acknowledged, I wasn't happy about the, uh, the option or moving them. This would have affected our kids soon enough um, and I, I had to do something. I couldn't, I couldn't stay quiet anymore. Um, I reached out to Ahmed because of course it's a bigger issue to tackle uh, for one person. And uh, I didn't realize that it was going to be, I was going to become so passionate about um, acquiring a second school. Emmett and I, we pulled together and we spent countless hours um, communicating, planning, petitioning uh, with government officials, board trustees, and other parents. Um, I do want to take a minute though and acknowledge the tremendous support we got from the community, uh, from the other parents who helped us with different tasks and especially our own families, um, my kids and Ahmed's better half, Dania, um, for allowing us the time to be able to get this far. We are so proud to announce that Finley Creek has been awarded the funding to build a second public school Woo! at Kelly Farm Drive 
Drive and McKenna Road. A second victory for this team after Finley Creek was ranked from number four to number one on the capital priorities list in February 2022. There's still a lot of work to be done and we are really looking forward to working with the uh, school board and the City of Ottawa to break ground as soon as possible. We believe in making a meaningful change uh, in our community to allow for positive growth and foremost, the safety of all our children. Thank you again, MPP Gamari, for all your support and congratulations, Finley Creek. So, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, it's an honor to be here today with MPP Gamari uh, and to be part of the announcement for the capital funding for the second Ottawa Carleton District School Board Elementary School in Finley Creek. So, my name is Ahmed Falal. I am an active member of the River Edge community. I'm currently co-chair with Kabir Ajwani uh, on the school council for Vinnie Ridge. I can still remember in 2016 November uh, when I was part of the groundbreaking ceremony for Vinnie Ridge and both my kids have attended Vinnie Ridge ever since it opened. They're both, uh, they're in grade three and four this year. They're out in portables and they'll probably be out in portables again next year. Um, it's not an ideal situation. Uh, like we saw earlier, there's no running water, there's no easy access to washrooms, and the schoolyard's been basically consumed by all the portables. We're currently the largest Ottawa Carleton District School Board school, and we're only growing. We already have 18 portables on site. There's at least five more coming next year, um, in the 22, or sorry, the 22-23 school year. And in the 23-24 school year, the school is projected to be at over 200% capacity. So that means half the students are actually going to be outside of the school to get their education. So after Kavita reached out to me in late 2021, and being an equally concerned parent, we teamed up to advocate for the students and the community. Um, and some of the key things that we did were, you know, we prepared live delegate speeches that were presented at the December 7th, 2021, and the February 22nd, 2022 uh, board meetings for the Ottawa Carleton District School Board. Um, you know, we had multiple, multiple meetings with MPP Kamari, you know, Zoom, Google Meets, uh, like we meetings, said, yeah. Town, yeah, town hall meetings, um, WhatsApp meetings. Um, you know, she's helped us uh, and we sought her advice throughout the entire time. We wrote multiple letters to the board and trustees explaining the urgency of our situation. We took part in multiple working groups with uh, Karen Ostapichuk uh, manager of planning at the Ottawa Carleton District School Board to try and address the overcrowding issue here at Vinnie Ridge. And, you know, we also formed the petition um, expressing the need for the second Ottawa Carleton uh, Elementary School here in Finley Creek. So today it, it is with great excitement that, uh, you know, to know that our efforts have paid off. And I'd like to start by thanking all the people of the community who signed and helped accumulate all the signatures that we needed for our petition and voiced and raised awareness for, for this need. Um, Karen Ostapichuk from the Ottawa Carlton District School Board, uh, who was here and supported us throughout the entire process, um, and for her recommendation of making Finley Creek the number one priority on the latest capital submission. And we do look forward to working with her um, on the construction of the second elementary school here in Finley Creek. Um, the Ottawa Carlton District School Board trustees who voted in favor of uh, Karen's uh, recommendation to put Finley Creek as top priority and of course MPP Gamari for all her support all her efforts uh, and for pushing to make Finley Creek uh, or for, for pushing to make to get Finley Creek the, the funding that we needed for the new school and of course Minister Lecce for approving those funds to help us build the school that's urgently needed and yes my beautiful wife who's <laughs> recording me right now thank you so much I'd now like to call upon uh, Principal Sevigny to say a few words, uh, especially with this being her, her last year. I'm sure this is uh, a great uh, final accomplishment for her as well, because I know she's been working very hard on this. Principal, thank you. Thank you, everyone. This is really exciting news. And I have to tell you that it's just, um, it shows what teamwork can do. And I have been very fortunate to work um, in the Finley Creek community and with our Vimy Ridge public school <coughs> community. Uh, when Vimy Ridge was first uh, built, our school board recognized that we were going to need two schools in Finley Creek, J 
just to service all of our students. And now that that has come to reality, I am so, so grateful. Uh, I have two of the best uh, chairs uh, on my school council. So a huge thank you to Ahmed and to Vida and to my entire parent community who has worked really hard on this. Special thanks to the Ontario government and to MPP Gamari, who has done incredible work for us and it has really been a pleasure working together. So thank you all very much. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words, Principal Sevigny. Um, so with that, uh, you know, I'm very, very excited. I'm, I'm thrilled by this announcement. This goes back to our government's commitment to investing in education, investing in students, investing in the future of Ontario and the future of uh, people living in communities like Finley Creek and elsewhere. Uh, you know, this is something, again, this is uh, my eighth and ninth school that I'm announcing since getting elected. This goes to our priorities and our commitments. We're here to build Ontario. We're here to get the job done and we'll continue to get the job done. And now that the funding has been approved, uh, the ball is in the court of the school board trustees. I'm just gonna wait for that. And now that the funding has been approved, the ball is in the court of the school board trustees and the city of Ottawa to get the school built as fast as possible so that we can make sure that all children in Finley Cleek are, are able to learn in a classroom. Thank you very much. And that concludes the announcement. Are there any questions? questions? Uh, maybe we'll just do some one-on-ones, uh, sure. ideally with the parents and maybe you, you guys as well, just in a second if that's okay. Absolutely. You're okay for five minutes? Everyone's all right for a couple of minutes? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome.